100,000 people in weather that's more like summer than spring pack Wembley Stadium to watch the biggest game of the year, Bolton Wanderers in the dark shorts battling with Manchester United for the FA Cup. On the perfect turf, the teams line up for presentation to the Duke of Edinburgh. Matt Lofthouse presents the Wanderers, and then under the eyes of Matt Busby himself, United skipper Bill Fox presents the team which, after the Munich tragedy, very few people expected to reach the final. United kick off with the sun but against the wind. Little Ernie Taylor dribbles away and passes, but the ball goes loose. Bolton right back Roy Hartle clears and Ray Parry passes it on. Goalie Harry Gregg jumps and nearly loses it. Bolton winger Douglas Holden kicks up field. Parry heads and Gregg misses, but sends it for a corner. A near one there. Holden takes it. It's headed out and Ray Parry brings it back. He centres, but Stan Crowther's there. He clears, but Edwards returns it and Lofthouse runs in for a lightning goal. Less than three minutes play and Bolton are one up already. United are shaken, but they try to hit back. Colin Webster, who's changed over to the right wing, bulldozes his way through towards the Wanderers' goal. He centres and this might be it. No. Bolton attacking again, but Dennis Stevens comes to grief. Free kick against United. In it comes, Greg jumps, but he's down, and there's a nasty moment for United before Ronnie Cope gets it away. Bobby Charlton beats Higgins. Taylor shoots, and a beautiful save by Eddie Hopkinson. United are soon sweeping back to worry him again, but nothing seems able to pierce that Bolton defence. Back and half-backs work smoothly together, and the Manchester attacks break against them like waves against a rock. And time and again, defence turns into attack, but Harry Gregg's found his form and holds them off. So the second half starts with Bolton still only one up, but pressing hard and giving Gregg little peace. The Wanderers' experience is telling over United's enthusiasm, and Manchester seem to be finding it difficult to work as a team. Brilliant individual efforts peter out through lack of support. Now Bolton winger Birch has it, but Alec Dawson, switching wings again, gets it away. Dawson to Charlton. Charlton passes. Back to Charlton, who shoots. But it bounces off the upright into Hopkinson's hands. Hard luck, Manchester. That was Bolton's closest shave yet. United are beginning to perk up. Here's Ronnie Cope starting another attack. But the Bolton defence holds. Up the Manchester end again with Bolton moving in fast. Dennis Stephen shoots. Greg parries, but Nat Lofthouse charges in. And there's Bolton's second goal. Nat's charge seemed fair enough, but it's flawed Harry Gregg, and play is held up for a minute or two while the trainer attends to him. It's an anxious moment, especially for Matt Busby, but there's no serious damage, and Harry's on his feet again. A corner. Up go the heads, and it's obvious that Gregg's recovered. Goodwin to Violet, but it's out of play. Webster runs in and shoots. Hopkinson can't hold it, but Higgins tips it away. And still it's the same story. The Manchester forwards get moving often enough, but they just can't push an attack home. And again. Bolton attacking on the right wing. But this time it's the Wanderers who miscalculate. Hello, Stevens has been knocked out by a collision with Webster. But once again, no real damage. A genuine accident, just one of those things. Only seconds to go, and Bolton, short of victory, stage a final offensive, which very nearly makes it 3-0. But there's the whistle, and Bolton Wanderers have scored the fourth cup victory of their history. It's a proud Nat Lofthouse who receives the precious trophy from Prince Philip, for not only has Nat skippered the winning team, but he scored both goals himself.
Still, he'd be the first to admit that it was brilliant teamwork that did it. And as for United, runners-up for the second consecutive year, hard luck, but it was a gallant fight. <laughs>